we're here today to talk to all of you about self-care. Summer is coming up and we just want to have a discussion about what self-care is and how we can practice it to be our best selves. So welcome to today's Cafecito Chat. And um, I am Miss Montgomery and this is Miss Maraz and we are your school counselors. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about self-care. What is self-care? Self-care is something that we do to take care of ourselves. It helps us take care of our bodies, our minds, and our hearts. Um, So just like how you have a routine in the morning, whether you shower, brushing your teeth, getting dressed, it is something that we do to take care of ourselves, um, not just our bodies, but also our minds and our hearts. So why are we talking about self-care today? Well, we are, what, a week and a half away from summer break. And we want to make sure that not only are our students taking care of themselves, but you as their grownups are as well. So research shows that having self-care and self-compassion can actually increase your joy and the positive thinking that you have in your, in your life, your energy, your mental health, Um, and the ability to care for others around you. And you are the caregivers to all of our students. So we want to make sure that just like we try to get, take care of our students, you feel supported in that as well. So there's different types of self-care and these are just going to be some ideas. Um, We want you to kind of reflect and think, what is it that brings me joy? What are some hobbies or some things that I can do that bring me joy that I have done in the past? I realized, wow, like that felt so good or I feel so refreshed or I needed that fresh air. Um, So there's four different types. The first type is physical self-care, and that's when we exercise, get enough sleep, which is a big one, right? We all know that when we don't get enough sleep, we may be more short-tempered or grumpy or just have lower energy. Eating healthy foods, um, drinking enough water, especially now during the summer, deep breathing, taking care of our medical needs, um, and keeping up with their personal hygiene, medication, stretching, all that. Um, Mental um, self-care is making a plan and it doesn't have to be super detailed, but just so you know what you need to work on or what is it that's going to take place, just giving that structure gives our brains some ease that we know what's going to happen next. Um, Learning a new skill, reading a book, doing something that you've been putting off because we know that once we finally do it, it gives us a big sense of accomplishment. Um, Or maybe just watching a movie or a TV show just to relax your brain and your heart um, and let go of all those thoughts that are constantly roaming. Um, How to take care of our emotional well-being is by writing down your feelings. And you don't have to keep that piece of paper. You can just crumble it up and throw it away. um, Get it out of your mind and just put it on paper and then we move forward. Praying or meditating, whatever calls you. Um or doing something relaxing when you feel stressed, like going outside, talking to somebody, making a things uh, that you're grateful for, or uh, making a list of people you love, writing a positive note to yourself or to others. Um, and then we can also practice self-care um, within our social life by spending time with family and friends. And it doesn't have to be going out to a restaurant. It can just be going for a walk together or just calling someone or texting someone planning an event, um, calling someone that you haven't talked in a while. So stop and think right now, who is someone that you've been missing Mm -hmm. and you haven't talked for a while? Um, Also, it could mean saying no to Mm -hmm. something, right? So think about like just how we declutter our home of, does this bring me joy? Does it not? Think about like, will this event or commitment bring me joy? And if it doesn't, you don't have to do it. It's okay to say no. Setting boundaries um, and being honest with, Oops, that is lunchtime here at the middle (laughs) school. Being honest with people around you um, or meeting new people as well. So I know sometimes we think, oh my goodness, like self-care, we hear it, right? It's become like a buzzword in the last couple of years. And it's sometimes like a little bit triggering because we ask ourselves, how am I going to even find time to take care of myself or to have like this extra time for self-care when Already our plates are so overwhelmed with so much to do, but it really could be as simple as taking five minutes to time for yourself to do any of the things that Ms. Medas just talked to us about, right? So whether it's um, taking a few minutes to just stretch or meditate or pray or take deep breaths and 
Um, and your child can teach you how to take mm -hmm. deep breaths the way we've taught them in through their nose, hold it out through their mouths. And they can tell you all the different ways that we taught them how to breathe. Um, if you want to set aside more time than just a couple of minutes, you can journal, call a friend, right? So any of the things that she just spoke about in our previous slide, you can take it even if it's one minute of your day to over an hour, a couple hours if you're watching a movie. Anything that just gives you that time to kind of check in with yourself and and be there for yourself. Because the more that you are able to do that, the more you're able to give to others. So we don't want you to give from an empty glass. We want you to refuel just like we fill up our cars with gas to get from point A to point B, you need to make sure that you are refueling yourself, your mind, your heart, your energy, so that you can give more as you're taking care of your family. Okay, so how do we check in with ourselves? I know Ms. Montgomery touched base on like just setting that time, you know, and it can be very quickly or sometimes depending on the situation, it can take a little bit longer to figure out how we're feeling. So this is how we can check in with ourselves. Notice first your body. You know, our, our bodies are like sending us messages all the time, but sometimes we're in overdrive that we don't notice it. So notice, are you shaky? Do you have some, an uncomfortable feeling in your stomach? Do you feel a little jittery? Do you feel low energy? So check in and, and just see, hmm, have I had enough water today? Have I talked to someone? Have I taken deep breaths? Have I made a plan? Have I had time for myself? To, mm -hmm. Or did I wake up and, you know, get straight to breakfast and now I'm rushing to work or I have to plan this um, activity for the kids. So just check in with yourself. Have you had enough sleep? Have you done something creative or gone outside or moved your body or asked for help? And have you had enough healthy food, right? Especially when we're home, it's much easier to grab um, just a snack from the pantry, some chips, um, or a lot of the carbs, which don't give us that boost of energy we need. Instead, it takes away some of our energy. So that's how you can check in with yourselves. Notice how you're feeling. Just even just doing that is going to help you know what next step to take. Your body has lots of signals. Your heart gives you lots of signals. And sometimes we just have to slow down and notice what's happening inside our hearts, inside our bodies. A good example of that is when our little ones are having a really hard time and all of a sudden they're acting rude or disrespectful or just very irritable and then all of a sudden we turn around and they're asleep because their bodies just mm -hmm. needed a nap or sometimes we are very snappy and irritable and then we realize oh my goodness it's because I haven't eaten I'm hangry right mm -hmm. so making sure that you understand the feeling that you're actually having and what's be behind behind that feeling so we have a really fun um, activity that we want to challenge you to use this summer, and that's to create a self-care jar. So it's just going to be a container, anything, a mason jar, an old um, mug, mug, yeah, anything that you can find um, that's full of self-care ideas. And anytime you feel like you need a little bit of a pick-me-up or um, a way to re reconnect, you can use an idea from the jar. You can just pull one and you could keep it at home, you can make it with your family. It could be a really great way to include um, your children and um, extra family members. So fill it out with different um, things. It could be on paper, you can use popsicle sticks, anything that you want to, you can color code it, and then just have different activities um, to help you um, have ideas on fun ways to take care of yourself or remind yourself that you need to prioritize your self care. Now, if you want to have a little challenge, I would encourage you to make sure that you get your little ones and your family involved, like little ones, like, you know, five, six, seven or below and have them give you ideas and put them down or they can write them mm -hmm. down. Because as we get older, we lose our sense of playfulness mm -hmm. or, um, you know, those little things that bring joy we or creativity, we tend to lose them. So practice them, you know, so if your little one puts playing hide and seek, I, we challenge you to play hide and seek Absolutely. and to see what comes out of that. You know, I, I can guarantee it would be lots of laughters and just a mental break. So we want to um, also remind you that self-care looks different from everyone, right? Exactly what Ms. Mera said, what our little ones say would be enjoyable for them is going to be different than what you as an adult identify. Um, but just remember, self-care is something that is consistent 
That means that we do it every day or every week, set some time apart. Also have activities that can be fun and find activities that you do that help you take care of yourself. Um, try to start off your day with a self-care activity. Research has shown that if you start your day, even just thinking of a positive thought, your day is going to be much better. You're, you just start much more um, positively and it helps the rest of your day go by a lot smoother. And by doing those things, you know, practicing self-care and starting off the day with a um, self-care activity, it gives us more sense of control within our days, right? So we know that whatever comes our way, yes, it may like throw us off balance, but we are taking care of ourselves that it may not knock us down. And if it does, we um, have so much going on within our hearts and our minds that it's positive that it's we're going to bounce back up. So just make sure that you take care of your heart and your mind, just how you do of your physical body and be consistent and just visualize it in your mind and be like, when is it more feasible for me to start to practice some of these um, activities that we just discussed? So we, with that, we want to wish you a very safe and happy summer. Um, stay out of the extreme heat. <laughs> drink, um, lots water. drink lots of water, hydrate, take care of yourself, your mind, your body, your heart, um, so that you can take care of your family as well. So thank you so much for joining us for today's Cafecito Chat, and we will see you next, next school year. year. Bye. Thank you. Bye.